the press releases go out to the news media and then we as an agency and as the government um, put it out again through social media, Nextdoor, and other outlets. The reason the Office of Consumer Protection is sending out notices for people to be safe while donating is because there has already been an increase of scams. Some examples include the candy donation boxes that we did an investigation on last year, as well as um, scam packs that are disguising themselves as charities when there really are political action committees. To make sure you are giving to a credible charity, Rasvani suggests to make sure that they are licensed by the Maryland Secretary of State. She also suggests that you research the charity by using these websites. Charity Navigator, GuideStar, Give.org, or Charity Watch. If you are a victim of fraud, Resvani offers this advice. You can file a complaint, ask for the issue to be investigated. We can potentially try to undo the transaction depending on how you paid. She says the safest way to donate is via credit card because it is easier to get your money back. Credit cards, um, gift cards, wire, payment apps, those are more difficult to undo. Resvani wants people who intend to scam donors to know that there are consequences. If you're a scammer, you're a con man, you're a criminal, you're committing fraud. And so the consequences is two part. One is monetary, but they will try to get the money back. The second, you're going to lose your liberty. You will end up in jail. Reporting from College Park, Jamie D, CNS TV News.